Hi folks, how are you guys doing today? I know you're doing real good. We're back here again today to excite you with some good actions. But this time we're going to be very specific on conditioning. I know most of you must have known about conditioning. Few may not have known. But we want to make it clear and explain to you what is conditioning and why conditioning is necessary as a fighter. If you want to be a top guy and you have not been conditioned, then you've not started. So let's watch out and see the processes of, of conditioning. Um, before we get on, I would like to remind us, the new uh, uh, viewers, please always hit the bell, leave your comment, and uh, let us know how you feel about our videos to so we'll update you with more exciting ones. And for those of us that are already subscribers, we give you a thumbs up. Thank you. So let's get on to the action. Okay, the first thing we want to do, like about the conditioning we mentioned, one will ask, what is what is conditioning and what is why is conditioning necessary? And the first thing is the fingers conditioning. Then how do we take it? The first, we sit on the fingers, go down. Sit on the fingers. Now when you do this for a period of time, you can time yourself minutes or two or there about 30 seconds for a start and then afterwards you graduate from up the next thing is you go down again on fingers this time is pressing you press up and down up and down up and down timing yourself maybe by counting or by timing like that over time when you do that successfully gradually your fingers are getting close to conditioning then later on you realize it by the time you start taking the strikes the one finger strike which is the ipong the your horn the four finger strike then you know for yourself that yes your fingers are beginning to give you the desired result then we can also assess the fist um, conditioning how do you condition the fist by taking some push-ups down place your fist down and the two knuckle fist is what we use. That's it. The two knuckle fist, not the four knuckle fist. Place it down, stand on it for a while by counting or by timing. And as time goes on, you also go to push. Now you push on it, pushing on it over time, severally, severally, severally with consistency. Later on, you realize that your punches will give you the desired effect. Okay, now up. Now, after that, you can equally add up with punching hard surfaces, placing a hard surface, or maybe a punching bag, or a punching um, uh, board, and strike, strike with the punches, and it will give you the desired conditioning. Then, when we go to the forehand conditioning, now the forehand conditioning, we can use something like a pole. Now, let's get to a pole. I will show you how to take forearm conditioning, which is very, very important. Now, this is for forearm conditioning. You strike in and out, in and out, in and out. Over the time, maybe by counting or by timing. Now, when you do this, as time goes on, you realize that your forearms will give you the desired uh, results that you're looking for and then why is it important that your forearms must be conditioned now punch me now punch yes. now without a good forearm you won't be able to strike or block out this punch effectively without having pains on your own by your on your own hands but when your con your forearm is well conditioned you can let me quickly put this down you can stop a fight by just block. That is because of the forearm conditioning that you have. That's, that what determines that is the extent of the conditioning of your forearm. If strike comes and you go boom, it might end up the fight because if it lands, okay, you can see him, he, he's rubbing it to show you that it was not a weak block. So conditioning, is very very important so with this we have many more processes but i'm just bringing these few ones to to your to your knowledge and your understanding so that 
you can you can at the, at the confidence of your environment or your home you can work on them so we are going to leave you here with this few tips about conditioning i want to remind us again for our first timers please do hit the bell subscribe and leave your comment then for our esteemed subscribers we give you an applause because you've been doing well keep it up thank you